There was a coworker there that I really, really no. did not get along with. What did the person do? She acted like she was my boss. So she tried to tell me what to do, how to do it. We feel comfortable saying, hey, you're not my boss. He just felt like he was a big one. 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 Have you ever encountered any people that make you so crazy? Yes. In America, I don't buy anything for work. Everything at work from the company. But the coworker thought Taiwan is different. So she was telling me to buy my own things. I said no. So I really did not like that coworker. If the factor don't make their expectations, what will you do? I looked internally at the company and saw if I could move somewhere else or if there were other opportunities there. What will you do? Like talk to your boss or you? Ah, uh, my boss is not. <laughs> my boss is say to me, "This is your business." What the reason make you? Quit? If my boss doesn't listen to me and says, "Do it anyway," I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. A good boss should always listen to their workers. Maybe they disagree, that's okay. I respect that. But if they say, no, do it that way, then then I'm not happy. <laughs> Satisfied with payment, time. It's just long hours. No time to relax, uh, taking work home. Quit the job if they don't like the job. And I had been away from New York for a long time. I lived in Asia for eight years. It was time to move back to the U.S. As long as the stress is the top, then you have the mental health issues, then how companies treat their employees. What did you mean? Well, I, I think that's if like a company treats you more a number instead of a person. This much salary per year, we expect this out of you, not considering the, the entire human. I think it's like I'm the, I'm a good boss. I can say that. So it's like I don't give pressure to my employees actually. But I know sometimes they have problems. If he's go or like what I'm gonna lose, I will keep him. You cannot be make everybody happy. We cannot give everyone. You need to be a, like a, out of ten people. We should be like, see you, you know? Will you choose to quit a job without having the next job? Uh, it just depends. If you're really not happy with it, I would just leave. And then just, everything will always work out. However, you know, some people are different. Some people will quit a job when they have a new job lined up. But if you're not happy, leave the job. No, that's not possible. <laughs> Why? That's not fair. I mean, no matter what, what is the situation or how bad is the situation, I think if you have some project with you or a responsibility, it's necessary to finish it. I would probably like to have the, that backup plan in place prior. I, I don't think I would move position to position without having one. It's okay to change if you don't like your job. You can finish one to try to get another one. I'm still young, don't care, so I can take this uh, possibility. Uh, but I think uh, if you have kids or things like this, it may be harder. And why did you choose to research in Taiwan? Oh, uh, I finished my PhD in Japan and then I was looking for a job. Then I find a opportunity in Taiwan, so I just come. Taiwan. Do you know about the working environment in Japan? I think Japan working is still more uh, stress because of the way they work, the culture, how it is in the office. But I think in Taiwan it's more open, the US kind of US system. So maybe not so stressed as in Japan. Get a comparison between the working environment in Taiwan and in the US? The offices that I saw look pretty reminiscent to what you'd see in the United States. People in Taiwan work really hard, very committed. They don't just show up late and whatever, work for a little while and then go home. People in the US also are hardworking, but it's just, it's different because um, the atmosphere is a little more casual, right? A lot of companies have the work from home, part time in the office, part time at home. I know in Taiwan now you have this too, but in the US, this kind of working style is, I think, more accepted because People have a more 
casual attitude about work. Not not that they're not serious about work, but just um, in Taiwan, it's a, a little more like you have to follow the rules, you know, that kind of thing.